What's up YouTube, it's your boy Andre here back with another video. Now today I want to show you my summer toy car. This is my Mercedes that I'm going to be driving for this summer. Super excited about it. Uh, it's my first convertible, first drop top that I've ever had. This is my Mercedes SLK 200, the late 2010 model. This is a second generation SLK, code name R171. Now these were made from 2004 until 2010. From 2011 onwards, you have the third generation, the facelifted models. Now, if you're looking at something like this, you probably also consider the Audi TT, the BMW Z4. I had an Audi TT, which was fantastic. And the second generation SLK really did steal my heart. It looks amazing with this long, aggressive bonnet. It definitely reminds me of its big brother, the Mercedes SL. I also really love this split in the front bumper. You have this matte finish piece in the middle, which makes it look almost like a Formula One finish. Let's just get this rubbish out here. This front end just looks amazing. The way the bonnet swoops, you have the star almost at an angle there. It looks phenomenal. Now, don't forget that this is a rather small car, but it's a ton of fun in the summer, especially when you put this top down, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Now, although this is the SLK 200 with a 1.8 liter engine, it does produce around 184 brake horsepower. And for a small car like this, that can be a lot of fun. Now, the boot on this is rather small, and this is kind of to be expected from a car like this. If I can get this opened, so this is what you have in terms of size. And if you do want to get that top down, you need to make sure you have this top piece pulled forward, clicked in. So then the roof, when it does go into the boot, sits on top. You still have that space at the bottom, but it's a very small opening if you do want to use it. Now, with that being said, let me show you what this car looks like with the roof down and also give you guys a glimpse of what it sounds like on a cold start. This makes me smile every time. So the way that you control the roof, this is all done from the center console just down here. So what you need to do is you hold this down and then you witness the roof go down. Now, if you buy a hard top car, this is probably the most fun that you'll have. So to put the roof up, all you do is you push the button up. You have to hold it at any point in time. If you do let go, the roof will stop in the position that it's at. So if it's halfway through, you'll stop there, uh, but just hold it. Your windows go up a little bit. Uh, they don't go fully once the roof is closed. The windows go up fully. Now, this is the hard top, which with most convertibles, you generally tend to find them in a soft top. The top is uh, made of fabric of some sort. Uh, the reason I wanted a hard top, as opposed to what you get on something like the Audi TT, is just that it's a lot more secure when you're inside, it's safer, and the isolation in terms of noise is a lot, lot better when you do have the roof up. Plus, seeing a hard top open and close looks so much better than a soft top. Now, in terms of options, this car has the optional heating package, which cost around a thousand pound when this car was new. That gives you heated seats for both the driver and the passenger. You also have something called Mercedes air scarf. So both the passenger and the driver on their headrests, they get these vents, which blow out hot air when you're driving very very useful when you have this top down so you can still have the roof down and not be freezing when the weather is a little bit colder now visibility in this car is really really good it's very open space you've got a great view in the back and also these pillars these corners and also the front pillars very very good visibility overall in this car the one thing i think this car could use is maybe getting a nice tint on the side windows as well as this back window here in terms of the seats this car does only have two seats and they're very very comfortable you can go forward uh, quite a bit and also back there's nothing in the back here and if you wanted to you can adjust the height so you can go higher 
which not great for me. I like to drive as low as possible just because of the headroom in this car. And also you can adjust your backrest. However, if you do have it all the way down and it is touching the back here, when you're driving over bumps, you will hear the lever or the plastic sort of making an awful noise. But I tend to leave a little bit of a gap just like that when I'm driving. But there you guys have it, my SLK 200. Such a fun car to drive, especially when the weather's like this and you've got that top down. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, I'm also a huge car enthusiast. And if you like this video, hit that like button. If you really, really like the video, smash that subscribe button. I appreciate all your support. Thank you for watching, have a great day.